to episode two of the vlog. Hey, are you yeah. Hi. Thank you. Okay, back in New York, which means back to work. Here's a rundown of the family side business. I'm gonna talk really, really fast and kind of show a time lapse little edit thing from a bunch of different angles. I basically put GoPros. So when my father was in high school, his twin brother went to a hardware store and applied for a job as a joke, pretending to be my father. My father got hired and went to work as a fence repairman. And he did that in high school. Then he went to college and eventually became a teacher. He was teaching for a while, then he decided to quit teaching and start a fence business. He was working out of the house for a while, the company grew, he eventually got the store. Then he worked at the store for a while, the company kept growing, and then he started the family side business, which was taking scrap wood, painting it, and selling their fences, but in flag form. Just stuff like this. This is, this is essentially the side business. And then his lunatic son, once he went to college, came home every winter break and hustled as hard as he could to make as many fence flags as possible to last as long into the year as possible. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It is winter and we are back at the shop making fence flags. It is winter, but this is not a winter break. It's a little bit different. I graduated college a few weeks ago. Here's a little clip of me handing in my last final exam ever. I finished the test at about 9 p.m., then immediately started driving to New York. And that's a wrap, folks. Now my motivation to work has completely changed. Back when this was a winter break and I was going to college, I would hustle for spending money, bills, college stuff. Now I'm hustling for this financial cushion. Let me explain. What can I sit on? Uh, I'm gonna get a chair from the office. In exactly two weeks from today, I am fleeing the United States of America, where I've grown up, and I'm moving to South Africa. And I'm making a few pit stops along the way. I'm very excited about it. But here's what makes it interesting. I don't have a job lined up in South Africa, nor do I have a visa, so I can't legally work there. So there's gonna be this gray period when I first get there of, I don't have a job, I don't have income, and I'm not legally allowed to have an income. I figure the more I can work now, the less stressful this gray area will be. My main goal in life is to eventually work for myself. Now, I have a vision for a product, but unlike my father, who had years of training of, of, with fencing before he started a fence company, I have a vision for a product that I know nothing about. So you'll see as this uh, YouTube channel progresses me trying to make this vision a reality. And I'm hoping to have a prototype by September. That's my goal. So hopefully by September on this channel, you will see a prototype of the product I wanna create. Be an entrepreneur, I'm gonna work for myself. Now, what does this look like? Well, I have an idea. I'm not gonna share it because then, well, you'd steal it. But I have an idea. So while I'm trying to start this, whatever vision I have in my head, I also wanna make movies. I wanna go around Africa making the most badass movies on the internet. So starting in 2020, I envisioned my life being a reality TV show. 
But now, what is the story? Story. Story is all that matters. Story is golden. The story is the number one most important thing. Story sits at the top of that gigantic pyramid that is filmmaking. So in the past, in my past endeavors, the story has been very clear, right? You have a point A, a point B, document everything that takes place in the middle, there's your story. But now, you know, I'm graduating college and trying to make it in the world, the point B is kind of unclear, right? So I am going to, starting on January 1st, 2020, just document the whole process. And I'm going to answer the question, what would happen if you graduated college, then moved to Africa and started a TV show? What would happen? Oh, you'll find out. 